Hello and welcome to a new video from The Interface. My name is Alex and today we're going to look at how to do a 301 redirect using Amazon AWS. So the interface.uk, this website right here, is hosted on AWS with Route 53, LightSail and CloudFront and S3. Um, so I wanted to do a certain thing. I wanted to redirect the interface.io to forward to the interface.uk. So if we go to uh, DNS checker and have a look at the interface.io, there's no DNS records, no A records for it. Um, if we go to a new tab and open it up, it doesn't go anywhere, there's no records for it. So if I open up, um, so if I go back to my guide on the website, so this, this guide uh, is pretty extensive. It's got all the steps that you need to do to achieve what we're going to do in the video today. So if you want a written version of this, the guide is linked down in the video description. And we're going to go through this step by step and and do a 301 redirect for a domain name using Amazon. So I've got a few d domain names registered in, in Route 53. So um, in order to get this working, the first thing you want to do is go to S3. So we're going to create what's called a bucket. You can see here I've got a load of different domain names that are all doing similar things. Uh, so if we go to create bucket, so the bucket name is going to be the domain name that we're going to route from. So in my case, it's the interface.io. AWS region, I'm going to leave this as I select uh, London for this one. Object ownership, ACL is disabled, and we're going to untick this block all public access button. So we want the public to better access it uh, so we can route traffic. And it says acknowledge this current settings may result in different things. Uh, that's fine. So we can go ahead and create that new bucket. Then if we select our bucket here, it says objects can be public, but it's not quite public yet. So if we click on the interface.io, a few things we need to do, we're going to go to properties and tell this bucket what to do. Um, so we're going to scroll right down to the bottom and you can see there's a button here, it's a static website hosting. Uh, I'll just move myself out of the way. Uh, there's a button that says edit, so we click on that first. So we want to go to static website hosting. Uh, we want to enable static website hosting and do redirect requests for an object and put in the domain name we want to go to. So in my case, it's the interface.uk. We're going to do save changes. And then we want to go to permissions and there's a, a JSON script in here that we need to put in. So if we click on edit and then if you go back to the, in the interface guide, there's a script uh, that you can just copy and paste. So just go right down, just copy and paste this script and put that in the bucket settings. But you do want to change one specific thing. So I've just got this bucket name here. So if you just copy this bucket name and then right up until the backslash or the forward slash, uh, just put that in there, so that's fine. And we can press save changes. That's fine. So now our bucket's created. We want to go to uh, CloudFront. So CloudFront is going to handle all the sort of the, the distribution of the of, it, of the requests and make sure it's available worldwide. So we're going to go ahead to create distribution. The origin domain is going to be not one of these drop downs. If you select one of those, it won't actually work. So you need to go back to the the S3 uh, bucket and go back to properties, scroll down to the bottom and you can see there's this website uh, URL here. It's got uh, S3 dash website. So you want to copy that and enter that manually into the CloudFront origin domain and then leave all these settings as they are. So HTTP only is fine. Scroll down to the bottom and what we want to do is redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Scroll down again. And then we're going to do alternate domain name. We want to put in, we want to put the domain in with www dot and then without it as well. And we can go ahead to request certificate. We'll open up a new tab. This is certificate section within AWS. And we're going to create a, we're going to request a public certificate for that domain name. Again, fully qualified domain name. We're going to enter both of them in again. So I've got this domain registered with Route 53. Uh, so you can do a very quick DNS validation. So we're going to go ahead and press request. So it's pending validation. We're going to refresh the page, click on the certificate, and you can see here it says create records within Route 53 for us. If you're not using Route 53, uh, you can just make the new records yourself. So it says create records. If this doesn't load, uh, just refresh the page and then press it again. So those are just CNAME records. So we can go back to certificates. So wait for it to validate. It takes a few seconds. So now the certificate is issued, we can go back to CloudFront and then refresh this certificate box. I and mean, it should be available in the drop down. 
So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the new one. And then that's fine. Everything else you want to leave as they are. So it says create distribution. So it's now deploying this CloudFront distribution. And once that's deployed, we'll come back. So now the CloudFront distribution is sorted, we can now go back to our hosted zones within Route 53. So hosted zones, search the domain name we want to manage. So at the moment, there's only some records for the C name uh, verification we did for the certificate. So you want to make a new record. This one's going to be an A record. We're going to do an alias. Traffic route 2. So route traffic 2 will be a CloudFront distribution. And then because it's not done anywhere else, we can now select our new one. And we want to make one more record for www alias, choose endpoint, cloudfront, leanspace.io, and then you can say create records. And they're in there, and then pretty much straight away, these, yeah, you can already see one in San Francisco is already deployed. Um, so this, after about a few, a few minutes, these will be all deployed, and then this will actually start routing in a few seconds. So we'll come back once that's done. So after about five or seven minutes, five or six minutes, the DNS records have updated, well, pretty much worldwide. So if I go to a new tab and type in theinterface.io, it now just redirects to the 301 redirect theinterface.uk and any existing links or wherever that URL is, it will now redirect to theinterface.uk. So you can replicate that for any domain name you've got hosted within uh, Amazon AWS, Route 53, using buckets within S3 and CloudFront. Okay, if you'd like to get the written version of this guide, you can do so at theinterface.uk. I'll put this specific link in the description below. You can find the interface at theinterface.uk on Twitter at the underscore interface underscore. Also on Mastodon, links are down below. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.